Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how we can place elements from one array to the another in the alternate fashion. So first of all, let me define the two arrays array A and B int A and this array will, con will contain some elements int B and this array also contains some of the elements. So first of all, let me define the size of this array. Hash define max. So I am assigning the size as 20 and the array B will contain 10 elements. Okay. So let me assign some of the values to the array A and array B. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And array B, 15, 20, sorry, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55. So what exactly it mean? that we are placing the array elements of B into the A in the alternate fashion. So the after, after result what it will print 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 and in that fashion we are printing the elements of, A, of array A. So okay again let me define some of the variables which will which we will need in the for loop so int i j and again we will need two more variables k i am assigning it to 1 and m equals to m equals to 4 why m equals to 4 so the array a array a contains total five elements okay and the position of the last or the index of the last element is what? 4. So we are assigning 4. Simply the index of the last element. And k equals to 1. Why we are assigning k equals to 1? Because we are putting the 15 element, this 15 element into the first position or first index of the array A. Okay, so it will be more clear. Let us go through the code. So right now I am using for loop for i equals to 0. i is less than the size of the second, L, second array that is where array b and i gets incremented. Sorry, I plus plus. So this is the outer array, outer loop, and this loop simply assign i equals to zero. Means it will hold the elements of B array, and in the inside of this array, again we are using a for loop. Here j equals to we are assigning let me just write the code and after that i will tell you what it exactly going to happen i equals to m and j sorry j equals to m j is greater than or equals to up to the k and j gets decremented so what we have did we have j equals to m means the first LA, first a array it will contain the 50 value and j how up to and this loop will go up to the 
first position uh, sorry first position of the array a and j gets decremented so inside that what we have exactly doing we need to shift the all the elements from first position up to the last so a equals to r plus 1 j plus 1 we are assigning the value as a equals to j okay so we simply moving the array elements of a with one position forwarded so 50 will go to the fifth position 40 fourth and likewise it will going to happen and after coming out of the loop we are transferring the 15 element into the first position of the array a so let me write array of what is the position of the a k we are assigning the, assigning the value of b and it will i ok the first for first outer for loop simply assigning the outer element so right here you can see the i index is 0 so we are assigning the first element into the kth position k is nothing but the first position so here successfully we have did this this is the first iterate first iteration and after that what we need have to do we are simply placing the array of b into the array of a in the alternate fashion so the k variable get incremented by k plus plus k equals to k plus 2 and m will get incremented as m plus 1 so this was the code about merging of arrays in the alternate fashion and now the for loop goes for simply printing the array elements of a for for loop for printing Okay, for again phi i equals to 0, i is less than. Uh, so, what will be the value, maximum value of a? We are storing the b, b all elements, so 10 plus uh, 5 plus 5, 10, so it will less than equals to 10. We are not assigning the maximum value. So, why not maximum value? Maximum value of array is 20. So, as we know that after, after that it will simply contain all the zero elements so we are not trying to we are not we don't want to print the zeroth element because we are not in, interested in that i equals to 10 and i gets incremented and inside the loop simply print f statement percent d this is the placeholder and a of i so okay let me just run the code is that exactly working or not so okay so the result goes 10 15 20 25 30 35 and likewise that so we have successfully printed the uh, array elements of a and 